Very interesting. Yeah, ADAT getting uh, more more powerful. More, pot, more powerful <laughs> and more important. Taking yes. over, beating so, AFK a little bit. I really bit. hope like with AFK, people start preparing for ADAT. I do tell people like when they get in the consults, I, I tell them, look, you're studying so hard for AFK. Why exactly. not do that extra month of preparation? Exactly. Month and two, exactly. And go for ADAT. What? Like, like for me, I did AFK plus ACJ. Yeah. Then I gave my exam. Um, then your ADAT after the ACJ? After my ADAT. Yeah. So, but uh, like, because now we have the curriculum in. So we know that if you're preparing simultaneously for ADAT or doing like the, the extra one, one and a half months for ADAT, mm. it's good. Like, yeah, like it, it will save you much, much more time if you do it right after AFK than finding out maybe months later that you're going to do it. Exactly. And then needing to kind of review all over again. Yeah. Anyways, we are like, we are teaching them how to solve the clinical questions. Exactly. So, so, so for me, I think it's a no brainer just to kind of. Yeah, you should. You get should. it done. Like if anybody is planning for like ADAT, a university pathway, you should start preparing for the AFK. Yeah. Some people, like I've had some consults where um, some dentists are just like, I know I don't want the university pathway. It's not an option. So I go like, okay, but I would still do it. You don't know what's going to happen in the future, but you know if you're very determined, okay. Just I kept on. I kept both the paths open. So yeah, I keep I both pathways both. open. Yeah, there's no how. Yeah, just do you, it. You are studying it. You are just studying it a bit extra. Mm -hmm. Like you are going that extra mile to have one opportunity in your hand. Mm. It's not. It's not bad. Mm. Did you feel it was easier to go through ADAT than after the ACJ versus after the AFK directly? Did the ACJ help? A little uh, bit with the ADAT because you scored high on ADAT, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you I don't know. Now that's want to share that at, or at, not? At my time, like, <laughs> when I gave it, was yeah. like a pretty good score at yeah. that time. But for ACJ, it helped me um, answer the clinical questions. Mm -hmm. Now, when we made that program, so we made sure that uh, when the students are taking that ADAT program, mm. they are they they will be able to answer those clinical like clinical based questions. Mm -hmm. So I got the help of ACJ in that section. Yes. But yes. But since we created the program, then that you ways. don't need to wait for ACJ. Yes. Just do AFK course, try to get the yes. maybe a bridge or course of ADAT. ADAT. Go With for that, ADAT course. after it would be so, ideal yes. if you're doing both pathways. So, yes. And that's if you're planning for university and then opens up the specialty if you're a specialist. Oh, that's, um, that's I'm still getting the grip of that, but that's a wonderful thing what happened. Mm -hmm. ADAT and getting into the speciality. Uh, it's, it's a good thing. I wonder if one day it's just going to be all a, <laughs> uh, where we're going towards like a universal thing. Everything is becoming one, like we're all using one exam. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, Maybe one day. But like <laughs> US is retaining both exams. US is keeping INDB mm -hmm. like for um, the internationally trained dentists. Yeah. And ADAT is a plus exam. Okay. Some universities are saying, okay, if you have ADAT, we would consider it as a plus in your application. Oh, really? Okay. Some are not considering it. So for them, ADAT is... Um, like in US, it is that ways, but for, yeah, IMBD is for foreign trained dentists in the US. ADAT is for the speciality. Usually, if you want to get into a specialty, even for yes. people graduating from the US, yes. they do ADAT to get ADAT. Into a they, they start giving, they start preparing for it in their final year. Yeah. So, if somebody is uh, planning to apply for a specialty, like post their uh, DDS, so they start preparing it in like final year. Mm -hmm. so. And what what you so if someone is doing the IMBDE. And they want to, and they're a foreign trained dentist in the U.S. and they're going for university because that's the only pathway there. It would be a plus on their if they're doing ADAT. Some universities say it would be a plus. Mm -hmm. Some would say it would not matter. Mm -hmm. But probably no. But <laughs> like having a good ADAT score in your application, yeah, it's gonna look it, good. It's, it's gonna look good. Yeah, for so, sure. So yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, that's a good update. I think that you know it's very beneficial people to know. Yes. Um, that the specialty pathway is being sort of resolved. It was there was a gap where no one knew what was happening? Yeah. Is it gone exactly. forever? Is it yes. going to come back? And now there was no there, there was not much information on that. Yeah, it was just yeah. transferring it to this organization and DSE, and then um, and now UFT took that initiative of like showing that hey, look, there's potential yeah. for yeah. specialty pathway using ADAT. Yes. I think usually other universities are going to follow the same path, usually. I like so. Yeah. <laughs>